1942, the Japanese planned to widen its defensive perimeters by moving down the Solomon Islands and into the Coral Sea. Easily taken the Solomon Islands, the Japanese carrier force moved into the Coral Sea along the coast of Australia to do two things. One, to prepare for the main assault in Papua New Guinea, and two, to control the waters around Australia and prevent Australia from being supplied from America. Having much better signals intelligence, the Allied forces intercepted the Japanese communication transmission, saying that they would attack the Australian port Moresby, allowing them to position themselves in the Coral Sea to intercept the Japanese invasion fleet. The Americans deployed two aircraft carrier grips, the Lexington and the Yorktown, each carrier grip containing about a half dozen or so smaller ships, both cruisers and destroyers. Along with the Americans, two Australian grips tagged along for added protection, the Australian and the Hobart. Baby's Babylon, they're looking for excuses. Game for the buzzer who kicked it to the mooses. Lame as a brain could be golly gee. If you see a shrink, he'll charge you a The first major action of the battle was when American aircraft sunk the Japanese carrier Shoho, and the counter result of the Japanese sinking a U.S. destroyer and heavily damaging a fleet boiler. While this was taking place, the American Australian fleet blocked the Japanese invasion fleet from attacking the Australian port. The American Australian fleet was then attacked by a great many Japanese aircrafts. With men on both sides lost, luckily all the ships were able to fend them off. On May 8th, the Japanese and American Australian fleets were desperately trying to find each other to give the other a final killing blow. The Japanese eventually found the American fleet American. and attacked the American carriers Lexington and Yorktown. With both sides suffering heavy losses in the aircraft and carriers damaged or sunk, the two fleets disengaged and retired from the battle area. Due to the loss of carrier air cover, the Japanese recalled the Port Moresby invasion fleet to try again later. Naruto, Mitsubishi, Taekwondo. As a result, the Americans lost 656 men killed, 69 aircrafts destroyed, one destroyer sunk, one oiler sunk, and the fleet carrier USS Lexington. Not one Australian was killed. I cannot recall. Although losing many ships, it would prove a victory for the Allies for several reasons. Japanese expansion seemed unstoppable until then, and the Japanese fleet carriers Shokoku and Tsukaiku were unable to participate in the Battle of Midway, which took place the following month, contributing significantly to the U.S. victory in that battle. The severe losses in carriers at Midway prevented the Japanese from re-attempting to invade Port Moresby from the ocean. Allies then took advantage of Japan's resulting strategic vulnerability in the South Pacific and launched campaigns that eventually broke the Japanese defenses in the South Pacific and was a significant contributing factor to Japan's ultimate defeat in World War II. Like a brand new friend I'll forever know I've got this life